Hello, and thank you for watching this presentation on the Transit Smart Guide as part of the International AIDS Conference 2020. We had hoped to share this guide with you in person in the Global Village, but given current events, we're happy to share this information virtually. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Mari Bahati, and I am currently Director of Programs for Innovative Response Globally for Transgender Women and HIV, otherwise known as IRGT. IRGT is a global network of transgender activists composed from members from diverse parts of the world with the responsibility of capacity building and promoting advocacy on trans health and human rights as it relates to HIV and AIDS. We work closely with Global Action for Trans Equality, otherwise known as GATE, to create the Transit Smart Guide and educate community on its use. If you didn't know already, GATE is an international organization working on gender identity, gender expression, and bodily diversity issues. And with that, let's get started. In September 2019, GATE and IRGT collaborated to develop a community-focused guide to the 2016 publication, informally known as Transit. And don't worry, we'll talk more about Transit in just a second. Through the years following the release of Transit, both organizations have received feedback from community members that the content of the original document was not easily accessible or easy to disseminate in local communities. First of all, it didn't feel very community focused. Also, it was a little long, being over 200 pages, making it expensive to print and heavy to carry and ship. And the file size was large if you wanted to email it or be able to download it from a website, which could be a problem if you don't have access to Wi-Fi or a data plan. So before we dive more into the Smart Guide and why we created it, as well as its potential uses, let's talk a little bit more about what the transit actually is. Implementing comprehensive HIV and STI programs with transgender people, practical guidance for collaborative interventions is the result of a multinational collaboration of the partners you see listed here in the slide. It is also known as the Trans Implementation Tool or Transit and was developed for use by public health officials and managers of HIV and STI programs, NGOs, including community and civil society organizations, as well as health workers, to be able to enhance the design and delivery of HIV services for transgender people. Transit was based on recommendations from the 2011 World Health Organization guidance document, Prevention and Treatment of HIV and Other Sexually Transmitted Infections Among Men Who Have Sex with Men and Transgender People, as well as the 2014 WHO Consolidated Guidelines on HIV Prevention, Diagnosis, Treatment, and Care for Key Populations. Transit is divided into the following five chapters, with topics ranging from community empowerment, stigma and discrimination, service delivery, and program management. Before moving on to talk about the SMART Guide, we want to state here that transit is an excellent reference that our community can use to design comprehensive programs, build advocacy platforms, and educate community members on transgender health and human rights. We created the SMART Guide to make the transit easier to navigate and understand, as well as to highlight the information that is most important to community members. Okay, so now we're here, and I'm sure you're still wondering, so what exactly is the SMART Guide? We created this community-focused guide to help transgender community members empower themselves to advocate for improved service delivery and develop unique solutions to the problems that we are facing. As an approachable, community-oriented tool, the Transit Smart Guide gives trans individuals and trans-led organizations the knowledge and skills that they need to play a pivotal role in monitoring and oversight for national, regional, and global mechanisms and ensure that populations like ours with the highest need for funding and services actually get these services. Trained facilitators within the community can also use this guide. 
The guide and lessons learned throughout this process can serve to inform regional and national coordinating mechanisms, key stakeholders and other key decision makers on how to engage transgender communities and other key populations when making funding or service delivery decisions. The SMART Guide condenses the transit down to 28 pages, highlighting the most important topics for the trans community. We also created an accompanying slide deck for each of the five topics that can be used for presentations. The SMART Guide follows the same structure as transit, with five topics that correspond to the five chapters of transit, including community empowerment, stigma discrimination, violence, and human rights, services, service delivery approaches, and program management. Using this sample page from the first topic, community empowerment, we'd like to show you a little bit more about how the document is structured. Each topic includes key concepts, important tables and figures from each of the corresponding chapters in transit. And we also provide their location so you can find them in the original document. For example, if you wanted to find out more about the key elements of community empowerment featured in Transit Figure 1.1, or on page three of the SMART Guide, included here, you can find from the text that it is located on page five of Transit. It was important for us to include these references. Although the SMART Guide can serve as a useful tool for our community, it was not meant to replace Transit. There's a lot of good information in transit, and we hope that our communities can use it as a reference as well, especially to get more in-depth information when needed. We at IRGT and GATE feel that the creation and dissemination of the Transit Smart Guide, as well as the transit, is a pivotal step in trans community capacity building and empowerment, providing trans people with the knowledge to take ownership of the problems that face our community and come up with unique solutions that will hopefully decrease our vulnerability to HIV, as well as address structural issues that perpetuate the marginalization, stigma, and discrimination that face us every day. I hope that you found this presentation informative and interesting. To find out more about GATE, IRDT, or to download Transit and or the Transit Smart Guide, please use the links listed here in the resources. Again, thank you for attending this session on the A's 2020 Virtual Global Village. Stay healthy, stay safe, and well, and hopefully we can see each other again at A's 2022. Thank you.